and don't pay Trump any attention. Hi, I'm Lori Lehner. And this is my friend Mame. Hello. We are social distancing <laughs> and masking. So y'all know. We're probably gonna take I can take we're our masks off. Yeah, we're gonna take our masks off. Cause if you like it, then you better put a mask on it. If you're out there like this task is hard, relax on it. Don't be mad, cause you see that we done it. All the things and human beings put a mask on it. Oh 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 We are here today to talk a little bit about the parody videos that I make for Twitter and YouTube um, that are political parody videos. They really focus specifically on the failings of the president, one Donald J. Trump. Um, I have written a couple of parodies in the past just for fun. I had written a couple of comedy songs in the past and um, it was really when Trump got elected and the, everybody's humor came out all over the internet. People just trying to cope in their way. And it's the same way that I cope through writing and through music and through humor. When I was watching my TV, they asked Trump about COVID-19. Thousand Americans dying a day. Here's what Trump had to say. I think I feel very strongly about it. Um, I might have to creatively because it's, it's an outlet. It's to entertain in a time where nothing seems funny and, you know, things are pretty drastic. Um, so it's, it's, it's really kind of to, for me to alleviate my own stress um, dealing with this kind of a president and hopefully for other people as well. Uh-uh, that's not it. All the world is sick of yours. A few times when you misspell that, so I think it's time that we have this chat because you don't know how to spell words. You don't know how to spell words. A few times when you misspell that, so I think it's time that we have this chat because you don't know how to spell words. Well, I'm native from New York City. And I had come down here in New Orleans. I was doing an acoustic singer-songwriter tour and I had come down here and I fell in love with the city. So I decided to move here and I did very quickly. <laughs> um, I do feel that New Orleans being um, a democratic city in a Republican state, there is, I, I do feel kind of that energy here that there is a pushback. There is a, a resisting coming from here. Which of my parodies is your favorite? Like for favorite video, and this is going back, is for physical. And just recently he came out bragging about that physical. Oh, <laughs> yeah. pictures of animals and you're like Trump can name these animals Trump knows animals like it's just I laugh the cognitive test so hard at that like yeah. that is such a good one and which animals are these Trump knows I think actually the first one um was somebody in a protest had a sign a big colorful sign and it was a take on supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and it was about Trump. It was stupid, callous, racist, something. So I thought that was so clever, and I started thinking, oh, well, that's the, that's a song. Somebody should sing the song. Stupid, callous, fragile, racist, sexist, not my foe. Thus, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, everything he and says is. I kept thinking 
somebody should do that. Somebody should do that until I realized I was the somebody who should do that. <laughs> Stupid, callous, fragile, racist, sexist, not my bonus. Stupid, callous, fragile, racist, barred, fascist, orange, xenophobic, anti-science, rapey, sexist, not my bonus. I really don't ever try to come up with songs. They're just ideas that I get, and then they don't go away until I finish the song. <laughs> You've been arraigned by the SDNY. You've been arraigned by the I pick out anchor phrases that I can kind of take at face value and shift it to what we're talking about and then just kind of fill in the rest of the blanks like a puzzle. There's so much just like horrible news coming at us. It's like watching like a crime drama 24-7 with no resolution. They never catch the bad guy. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Trump feels fine. It is a big and weird system, and it does seem, and I think that's why people sometimes don't vote. Secret meeting Trump Tower, U.S. sold a foreign power. Because they think, I can't do anything. You know, I'm too small, and it's too big, and I, there's nothing that I can do. Trade is trade is for a dime, Trump will do time. Dictatorship is for me, book learning for getting. But um, I think it's good for everyone to do whatever they can that's in their their power right now. If only so that we don't look back and said we did nothing, we just sat there. It's the end of the world as we know it. Trump feels fine. I find that music and comedy are very useful. It's the end of the world as we know it. People are willing to be entertained, and then when while you're entertaining them, they're getting a point that I'm trying to make. In in the event that he wins again, we're just we're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Honestly, that's the the difference between doing something and doing nothing is doing something. That's all we can do. It's the end of the world as we know it. Trump feels fine. U.S. sold to foreign power. Trade is trade is for a dime, but Trump, fuck. Obama, well, you came and you gave your heart and soul. And I miss you today, Obama. You were great, unlike this orange asshole. I'd elect you today, Obama.